Hey everybody, this is Surgeon, and uh, welcome to our third episode of Let's Play Dark Messiah Might and Magic. Now in our first episode, we had a, a very tutorial type level. In our second episode, we had a very cinematic level. And it's in this episode that the game gets started, uh, really picks up some speed. I mean, uh, we finally get to go into combat, we get to kick some guys, we get to stab some guys, we get to explode some guys, and they're going to try to do the same to us, but uh, we're not going to let them. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to see if the master is all right. Hide yourself. Hide myself from what? Tell me, man. Tell me. Or don't tell me. That's fine, so too. Right there. There's no way out. We're trapped. Hey, pal. Ah. Nope. <laughs> That's what you get for coming up here without knocking. <laughs> oh, that was great. I hope he comes up again. <laughs> Oh, this is too easy. At this point, I almost feel bad for him. You won't stay in for long. Take your time. Take your time. We've oh. got trouble. Don't run away. I want to kick you down the steps again. I need backup. <laughs> That's what you get for coming into my house without knocking. Did I tell you that? I'm telling you again. Alright, so, uh, uh, let's change the order of all my items and objects and whatnot, because I'm not going to be using all of these immediately. Also, I've got two skill points. I'm going to spend one on the Fire Trap spell, because it is a great spell, and we're going to be using it a lot. I'll show you what I mean by it's a great spell. Now, there are two guys right there. A third right there, a fourth sneaking around over there, and a fifth, and he's either hanging out behind those boxes or hanging out behind this house in this little alleyway right there. Um, I could go down and fight all of them, but it would be a tricky fight. If I was a sneaky person, I could go down to where that crate is and swing it around to where those guys are and try to kick them into the fire. Uh, but because I'm a magic person, I'm going to set a flame trap right there, which is more or less in front of my door. Then I'm going to shoot that guy. And as they try to get into my house, that should go off. And burn a guy. You'll pay when I get my hands on you. Oh man, are they not allowed inside? Come inside. Come inside. I can hear you. You can come inside. Okay. it for him, and we just have that annoying archer. Oh my gosh, that was a lot more stressful than it should have been. See, uh, I tend to reshoot my Let's Plays often, and the first time, my gosh, uh, did the game go quickly. Uh, that time was definitely the worst, uh, worst try out of all of them. Steal a potion. Steal another potion. Take a berry juice. 
I think there's one more guy around here who pops up when you least expect him. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I already got him. Who knows? Anyway, let's keep moving. So yeah, the fire trap spell. Uh, a nice thing to have. See, uh, when players choose magic, they often assume that it's going to be a more cerebral answer to combat problems, and uh, in this case it is, as uh, the fire trap or spell allows you to uh, stack the deck in your favor before the game even begins. Um, cost is, well, it costs a lot of magic. As a matter of fact, I can really only use it once at a time. You won't make it. Get me some help here! Nope, nope, don't run away. I, need I want you. Up. Now I'm invincible. I might as well make that, uh, well, not invincible, but in rage mode. My next attack's gonna be a doozy. Did I hear something? Might as well make use of that and just take care of that guy right away. Don't move, buddy. Hey, pal. See, like I said, I shoot these, uh, I play these a bunch in advance and then I try to shoot them four or three times. By now, I know that We've someone appears trouble. out of nowhere right behind me. Come on, let's kill him. Get me some help here. Flank him. Nope, nope, don't run away. Stay where you are. Into the space. That's what you get for standing still. Oh, and that's a real shame. Uh, normally there's a dude who walks around this fish pond and says something like, Oh, why did they tell me to watch the fish pond? No one ever comes to the fish pond. Nothing ever happens at the fish pond. And then you can kick him into the fish pond and prove him wrong. Um, but I guess uh, what with how poorly that combat went just now, uh, he was scared away and or I killed him already. Anyway, uh, fish in a fish pond. It's a nice little detail. Uh, designers should take note. Um, I'm sure it does not take too long to program a fish-like object to move in water. And uh, it's uh, pretty little details that, that, like that that really make a game uh, enjoyable. Especially if uh, you can afford to keep your game running on a high resolution. not like you need a high resolution to like program a fish or anything, but it is nice. Anyway, so if I uh, go this way, I go back to this area, just in case, you know, I forget something or think I forget something. But it's really downstairs that I want to go now. The game will load. Uh, this area is uh, really close quarters and therefore uh, good for sneaky characters and or characters with the fire trap spell like me um, And I'll show you what inside I mean at that. last good job. Let's see what's going on here. Tight quarters combat is always fun if you have the ability to surprise an opponent and uh, sure you could do it by sneaking up behind them or you could do it by laying a trap for them like I just did now there's a guard who's going to walk along the outside path. You can see it through those crates. When he hears me chopping up barrels, he'll probably come to investigate. And when he does that, the first thing that's going to happen is he runs through my fire trap. See, he's right there. What was that? Right there, oh, explosion. And now I don't even have to deal with him. He's taking care of himself for me. Isn't that nice? Oh, I guess it's worth mentioning that uh, bad guys can't see the fire trap. Uh, yeah, they don't know it's there. So uh, they'll run right over it. Uh, let's see, how do I want to deal with this guy? He says he's tired. Let's put him to sleep. Uh, I think I'll serve uh, what health I have. Did I hear something? 
Don't try it. Guards! Hey, aren't you a guard? Oh, I've got rage power again. This made Shayok out of Robin Wagon Caravans. You said it. I've had worse bosses than Aratir. He still gives me the shakes. You've met him? Yes, and I wish I hadn't. What's he like? Like a nightmare made of ice. That's what he's like. Hey, no sleeping on the you job. Won't make it. Oh my gosh. Are they really both gonna miss the trap? My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. How poorly planned. That's it. Keep it busy. Well, that was a waste of a mana potion and a little bit of health. I guess I just placed the uh, fire spell too far away for them to hit it. Oh, I'm forgetting. There's an itsy bitsy room back here. I think there should be a health potion. Yep, health potion. I'll certainly take one of those right now. And I don't think there's anything else interesting. Oh, another box. Attack me! I'm so worried. What just attacked me? Oh my gosh. Health potions. Health potions are around. I cannot wait to get that healing spell. I really need it. Um, anyway, I, I guess when I busted that box, I was either uh, exploded by my own spell. Um, it shouldn't happen, but maybe the box set it off. And or I was attacked by a tiny bug. It did a lot of damage. Because there are itsy bitsy and very annoying... Uh, spiders that run uh, along the ground about as big as the crosshair is on the ground right now um and my gosh cardinal rule number one of making games do not frustrate the player and those little buggers are so difficult to hit that it's guaranteed frustration anyway uh beyond this door is uh the castle proper because we are underneath a, a very big mansion uh join me next time and uh i will make a mess out of a mess harl mess out of a mess hall, dance in a dining room, and we'll explore a library together, although we won't be quiet about it. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.